Okay, good evening everybody. It's Bart from GiantScaleNews.com and I'm just going to give you guys a quick overview of the website. And this is mostly for the people that are coming in to the website new from 3DRC Forums. Uh, I just want to say welcome everybody. Uh, we're very happy to have you with us at GiantScaleNews.com. Thank you again to uh, 3D Mike for uh, his help making all of this happen. And we're going to show you the big parts, the major moving parts of the website that you need to know about. I'll try to explain from a vBulletin perspective how things work so that you'll uh, know what I'm talking about, know where to find things that you've come to expect from your vBulletin website. Um, but what we use is a forum software called Zenforo. Uh, it's very modern. It's um, very similar in terms of development to where vBulletin was maybe uh, six or eight years ago. Uh, it's very uh, heavily developed, has a lot of support, and it's very fast, very modern. So I think what you guys will find once you've used it for a little while is that you really like it. Uh, because that's been the experience that um, the giant scale news crowd has had. We all came from vBulletin forum sites. We installed Zenforo. Everybody squawked at the beginning, you know, couldn't find anything, and uh, now everybody loves it. So. Real quick, uh, Zenforo is what's called a responsive software. When the website, when your browser window is open nice and wide like this one is, what happens is the website's only going to show this wide. It's going to get to a certain width and then stop getting any larger. Uh, but when the site is shown on a smaller screen, it automatically adjusts. So as, you, as I'm making the window narrower and narrower, you can see the software is automatically adjusting the format of everything and the size of everything so that it displays. And the beautiful thing about this is that this software will display the website very similarly no matter what size device you're using. So if you're sitting at a desktop, it looks like this. If you're sitting with a tablet on your lap, it looks very similar. If you look at it with your smartphone, um, you can still use the full website just like you normally would on your desktop and the benefit for you guys is that uh, you don't have to use tap a talk uh, with fixed websites like most V bulletin sites when you try to look at it on a, a smartphone or something the formatting might be all screwed up but with this site because it adjusts you don't really need tap a talk um, in order to access and use all of the features of the website. You can still use tap -a talk It is installed and it's supported, um, but you don't have to. So it's your choice. Um, <clears throat> the home page is a content page just the way it was at 3DRC forums. I haven't updated it a whole lot because I've just been, you know, very busy with other stuff. So, uh, this will be updated on a regular basis. The best stories, uh, the best specials from the vendors and manufacturers will be found here. Um, but this is where you come to first when you log into GiantScaleNews.com. Over on the right, you have recent posts. You can either click on the thread title here. You can click on the username here, the person that made the last post. Um, you could also come over, click on the title of the featured uh, thread just like up here um, all of this is active stuff this could take you right into the forums and these links up here this isn't working for some reason after the merger this would normally go to uh, RC flight deck classifieds are a separate section of the website members uh, all of our vendors are listed via this link they're not listed I mean you can see how many there are here they're not listed in the general forums listings Local action is where we uh, we go to talk about uh, local groups. You can see it right here. Groups, clubs, teams, your posse, whatever. This doesn't have to necessarily be an AMA flying club. If you have a private field and there's a dozen of you that fly there, um, you can come here and uh, you know talk about what your plans are, post photos. I am willing to set up in this local action area a separate sub-forum here for your groups. So... If you have an AMA club or a group of buddies you fly with or a team, uh, if you have a local IMAC uh, chapter, say, 
and you want to have a place where you can post your photos, you can post um, contest results, you can discuss plans for upcoming events, um, you could post uh, video links. I'm willing to set that up for you guys for free if you want to use it that way. So underneath this folder right here, you might have you know your club name, and when you click on it, you go in, and there's a list of all your threads, and you can use it just like you would use the website. It'll have all the functionality of the website. I'm willing to do that free kind of as a public service thing for uh, local groups and stuff uh, of flyers. All right, so when you click on the logo, it takes you back to the home page. When you click on the forums, it takes you back to the main forums link or the main forums list. Okay. Um, not all the forums, like I said before, are listed in this. This is called the forums list. Not everything is there. Like I said, some of it is up here, local action. Here's a 3D RC forums. This is where you guys came over from. Most of your content is here, although now I see that uh, my web developer guy that I work with has been working while I've been talking. And your 3D RC forums banner is here now, and I hope you guys like it. And if you click on that, that'll also take you into the 3D RC forums area of the site. Now I should mention, there is this one area right here, site tutorials, requests, bug reports, etc. If there's something that you think would be a good addition or a good change for the site, let me know. This site is as much about you guys and your suggestions and what you want as it is my ideas and what I think would be good. So I'm not like a dictator website guy. I don't, uh, you know, I don't, uh, I don't determine each and every little detail about the site. I don't want to do that. I don't ever want to do that. It's uh, a much better world for all of us if we uh, think about what each other wants and then we just kind of make it that way. So. I appreciate feedback, and this is the place where you would go to do that, especially the new people. If you have questions, if things aren't clear, the more you tell me what's confusing you, the more I can fix things and make the whole website better. Okay? So, let me just look at my list real quick. Uh, important stuff that you guys need to know. When you come to the website, whether it's the home page or the forums list, or if you're over here in the 3D RC forums area, over here on the right, you see my username, Bartman. If I highlight that, and I don't have to click on it, all I do is put the mouse over it, this is your uh, user control panel. Everything you need is accessible right here. Now, my ads, I should point this out because this is confusing for everybody. This is not your classified ads. This is if you have an advertising banner with the website, that's where you would click on it, check statistics, update the banner that's being displayed, whatever. So that My Ads is only if you have an advertising banner. But all of your other stuff here is accessible just by hovering the mouse over your username. Right next to that is your inbox. Now, if you see, these are called, let me just hover back over here, let me go back to this site. Right here, say inbox, okay? Um, when you hover over that, that's gonna show you a certain number of uh, ones that haven't been discussed yet, okay, or haven't been opened yet. But we don't call private messages private messages. Uh, that's a v-bulletin word, private messages. We call them conversations. And the way you start a conversation with somebody, anywhere on the website when you see a username, like right here we have NJ Swede. Thank you very much, by the way, for checking out the website. Um, any place on the website where you go and see a username, that username is a link. And like here, we have Jace the Ace. He must have started this last year, a couple of years ago almost. Um, if, you, if you hover over a username and you click on it, it's going to take you to this little pop-up, kind of a shorthand profile display. And then you click Start a Conversation. And that's when you can put in the subject and type your message. Up here in this bar, it says participants. You can put as many people as you want. And the website has this neat feature where when you start typing a name, if you don't know what exactly it is, the name pops up. And if you put in something common like 3D, everybody whose names start with 3D will be listed here. Okay, so the site has a ton of functionality built into it. I can't tell you 
how sophisticated this uh, website software is. We absolutely love it. It works great, it's fast, and it has all this functionality built in, but you just have to know what's going on and how to use it. So the username control panel is up here. You just highlight your name. The inbox right here shows conversations. We don't call them private messages, although it's really hard to say, hey, why don't you conversation me? Everyone still says message me or PM me, but once you've been at the site for a while, you know that means start a conversation. So again, click on any username. Here's Swagger Jack. He's new, I think. And uh, you come up here, start a conversation, and there you go. And you'll get little notices when you come to the site. You know, you'll have this little flag up here, which tells you how many unread conversations you have. Um, so that's how you know people are trying to reach you, and that's how you try to reach them. Uh, this link right here, Active Threads, this is a really popular one with vBulletin people. Normally it's over here somewhere. That shows you all threads that have recent posts. Okay, You can confuse it with new posts, but new posts are threads that have new posts that don't have you as the last post. It's very confusing. Just use Active Threads. This is the most like uh, your recent threads post, your recent threads link that you had in vBulletin. This right here, Spy, this is the forum Spy. This shows you the most recent activity. It could be a profile update, it could be a new member, it could be a new thread or a new post, and it's in real time. So if you just let it sit here as activity is happening at the site, this list is just going to scroll on its own. And that's the forum Spy. Okay, so. Um, when you have a thread that you like, let's say uh, build thread, let's see, peak models 32% extra 330 SC, um, 49 dimes happens to like cheeseburgers. <laughs> but let's say, uh, let's say you want to follow this thread, you want to subscribe to it. Subscribe is a vBulletin word. The Zenfora word for that is watch. So right here you have watch thread. You click on that, and it says, do you want to receive email notifications or not? I usually like to receive email notifications, so then I'm going to watch the thread. So watch equals subscribe. And then once you have a bunch of threads that you've uh, subscribed to using the watch button, it gets confusing, especially when everybody's so used to be bulletin. But you can click right here, watched threads, and... I don't have any right now that I haven't read already, so there's no list here, but this is where they would be under watched threads. Now, an awesome feature with this that you don't have with vBulletin is the ability to watch a whole forum. So like me in particular, I just have a thing for cheap used airplanes. So what I would do is I would come up to gas and glow airplanes and the classifieds. I can watch that forum, all right? So whenever there's a new thread, I can get an alert and an email. An alert is a little pop-up window on the screen that says, hey, somebody just posted a new thread. Or an email is going to send me an email, and I'm going to get an email when there's a new thread. So if you really like to watch classifieds, if you're always looking for a good deal, you want to watch the uh, classifieds. But you could do that for anything, really. If you're, um, if you're uh, following along with the Joe Null stuff leading up, you can watch this whole forum. So whenever there's a new post in the Joe Nall forum, you're going to get an email. Okay, so that is an awesome little feature of the website, and um, that's how it works. So what's left? Uh, so how do you post a new thread? Well, you can go to the forums list, right? Or if you're in the active threads list, right here is the forum the subforum where the new thread or where the active thread is. And if you click on that, it takes you to the beginning of that forum. So once you're here in the in the forums list, you would click on this little blue button that says post new thread. When you do that, you put your thread title in, you put your information there, and if you scroll down just a little bit, you'll see some options. The most important thing here is going to be upload a file. That's how you add photos. When you click upload a file, it takes you to your little file pop-up window. You can select up to 100 photo files 
per post. And this is what we call our batch uploader. This is a huge feature. It's awesome because if you've been to a, an event or a show or a swap meet or something, and you took a few hundred photos like uh, some of our members are prone to do, you can come here, select 100 at a time, and then once you start to upload them, uh, you can just walk away, come back, upload another 100. This is also where you can automatically select to watch the thread. You can start a poll here. Almost all, everywhere in the site, you can post a poll if you wanted to. Um, but this upload a file, this is how you put a photo here. Now, a big difference between Zenforo and vBulletin is that we don't allow HTML in a post. That means you can't post um, hot links and stuff. That's a big entry point for spammers to post, uh, to put viruses into the website. So what Zenforo does is they have their own little custom shorthand and you can learn that as you go. It's not super important, but the big button that you want to learn is right here, this media button. When you click that, all you have to do to embed a YouTube video is put the share code in there that you would get from YouTube. So if I were to go up here and click on YouTube, hang on, let me cancel this. I'll go up here, I'll type in YouTube, and let's see, uh, here's uh, Andrew Jeske flying his new airplane, his prototype. So when you scroll down and you click on share, it gives you this little code right here. So you copy that, and then you come back to the website. All you have to do to embed a video is put in that share code and click embed. It does the rest for you. So these these media tags before and after the um, the code for the video, those are specific to Zenforo. So a spammer can't come in and install uh, viruses in the website using HTML the way they can at other forum sites. And this is a security thing, but it also at the same time makes it very easy for you to use the website. So if I were to just create this thread and say test thread, once I post this, you're going to see that just that little bit of stuff right there makes the um, video show up embedded and then you can just play it right at the website. Okay, so going back to this, that's most of the important stuff that I have. I already talked about local action and the free sub forums. Um, we're, we're going to keep answering your questions as we go. Uh, I want you guys to all know that you're free to ask questions. Uh, the community here at Giant Scale News, we're very friendly. We're very anti-drama. So if you guys have questions, I know our members will come out and try to answer them for you if I don't get to it first. So don't be shy. Um, if there's things that you say, you know, this just sucks, it doesn't work, this little feature here, We'll either try to explain it to you so that you understand how it works and it'll work for you better then, or I'll go looking for a solution. I'll go to the support website. I'll go to the developers, try to figure out a way to make it better. All right, so thank you again for joining us. I hope this video has helped you. Thank you very much for watching it, and uh, welcome to GiantScaleNews.com. Bye-bye.